and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys to a Barcelona news roundup coming up for you today and you will be pleased to note that in today's video we are going to be focusing mainly on defensive reinforcements that's the key in today's video and I think to be honest we can all get behind that we are also though going to be talking about the future of Coutinho ahead of his Champions League final tonight against PSG it's all coming up in today's video Let's do it. But first of all, I do have to bring you my second landmark of the week. We spoke a few days ago about reaching 50k on more Talk FCB, but now here on the main channel, we've hit 400,000. 400k! I can't believe that. You guys, you guys are something else. Honestly, thank you, thank you so much. That is absolutely unbelievable. And I do plan on trying to bring you there a special kind of video. I want to try and do something for you guys here to celebrate reaching that landmark but obviously I do like to bring you those videos when I can travel places and sort of do it in a cool setting obviously right now traveling isn't that easy but I will bring you that video as soon as I possibly can but like I say thanks so much but on now with why you're all here the news. And Sport have appeared this morning with the cover which says there are three signings with Lotaro Martinez who certainly seems to be back on the table for Barcelona Eric Garcia who we're going to come on to in just a moment and also there Valencia's Jose Gaia taking up the front cover there for Sport and it's actually there with Jose Gaia where I do want to start because he this season once again for Valencia I think he's been under the radar now for several seasons. He's been working very very well very very quietly just ticking along nicely and he's been so so impressive there at left back not only defensively but I think going forward there especially when you consider Valencia are a bit of a struggling team he's been a really really bright spark of that and you can see in the Spain squad he's being picked now ahead of Jordi Alba and he's at a great age too 25 years old not long term 25 entering here the very best years of his career and he is a really really exciting player that of course knows La Liga very very well now local reports in Valencia say that Barcelona do have an interest in Gaia. They have been keeping a very, very close eye on his progress and they also go on to say that Gaia himself is aware of Barca's interest. They do say though that right now Gaia is happy to stay at Valencia. He's a player there that did come through their youth system. He's been there now so many years and you can understand why he'd want to stay with the club that basically he's grown up in. But what I would say on this is throughout the summer as the weeks go on it's worth paying attention there to what happens with these Valencia players because right now I'm not sure if you're aware it's absolute chaos in Valencia probably even more so than in Barca that is saying something right now they're just going through their squad they're selling the big names Danny Parejo is gone they also could be on the verge of selling Rodrigo and you just wonder there if anything was to happen to Gaia if he was to go out the door much like Ferran Torres their other youth product it would be interesting to see should Barca arrive there with a decent offer if we could pick up an absolute bargain and a very good player that he would be. Although, it has to be noted certainly that Gaia isn't the only left-back Barcelona showing interest in this summer, with reports right now in Spain and England saying that Barca very much interested in Manchester City's Angelino, who of course has really impressed over the past few months or so in his loan spell there with RB Leipzig. Now, Leipzig do have a clause in that deal there of 30 million euros around about that if they want to make that deal permanent. It doesn't seem as though they're going to be able to afford that, given the cutbacks the pandemic has have caused. And so for that reason, he is going to be available this summer from Man City and they would be willing to sell to Barca for around 30 million. But what I would say about that is this. I think personally it would be a risk. I can understand why Barcelona are keeping an eye on Angelino. I can understand why they're thinking, yep, he is a good player because he is. He's been absolutely incredible under Nagelsmann since joining Leipzig. I'm actually surprised there. They're not going to make that permanent. Maybe it's a bit too much there to spend on a left back for them. But what I would say about that is it's been an back five. That's the key here. Angelino has been playing very much so as a left wing back. He's not been playing as a left back. There is a big difference because I think there, if you watch Angelino during his time with Man City, he hasn't been given very many opportunities there. But when he played in that back four in a Guardiola system, it didn't work. He was very, very exposed there at left back and it didn't quite happen for him. So that's why I feel as though, even though he has been very good at Leipzig, I really do mean that and I do like him going forward as a player. He is very, very impressive. But for us, 
at 30 million, I think it would be a risk. One player though who would certainly not be a risk is another RB Leipzig player, but he is permanently their player. It is Dyat Upamecano, who we have spoken about a number of occasions in the past. And of course, he's been very much in the spotlight of late with an absolutely stunning performance. And it really was in the quarterfinal there of the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. He was a big part of Leipzig going through there to the semi-final stage. And honestly, he just bossed the game. Not only there in terms of his sheer power, his defense, ability, but his ability on the ball. He just takes the ball out of defence, he steps out, he's fearless, he's so composed in high pressure situations, and he looks like tailor-made player there to play in a ball-playing defence, and honestly, he is so, so good, and still only 21 years old. Now, of course, recently he has signed a new contract at RB Leipzig, which did seem to suggest at the time that he wouldn't be on his way out of the club any time soon, and indeed this summer that's the case. There's no chance of signing with Meccano this summer, no chance at all. But next summer, according to reports now in the German media, he has signed that new deal. But in that new deal, from next summer onwards in 2021, Uber Meccano will have a release clause of just 42 million euros. And what a deal that would be. In 2021, the new era, of course, at Barcelona will have a new board coming in. We should have funds to spend. That could be a brilliant, brilliant start to the next chapter in Barcelona's history. And Uber Meccano, for me, keep a close eye on him. We won't be alone, by the way. There will be clubs queuing round the block to get their hands on this guy. But I would love to see him at Barca. In the now, though, of course, there is also another centre-back that I did say we would move on to, and that is Eric Garcia. Barca this summer are still going down the Eric Garcia route. His contract expires at Man City in 2021. There may be an option there that we get him for free, but we are still trying to bring him in early this summer with a report there of around a 10 million euro offer from Barcelona to Man City there to try and get Garcia in early. Now, that may be rejected. If that is rejected, Barca may choose to go back with more, or they may just bide their time. Because look at said all along in this deal, we are very much in control. Garcia wants to return to Barcelona. That's why he's not signed the new deal at Man City. City are very much aware of that. If they don't accept the deal this summer, it's quite simple. He will leave for free, for absolutely nothing next summer. And that's the decision they will have to make. Barca still believe they could bring him in this summer. And it'll be interesting. Eric Garcia this summer at a cut price. Next summer, Upa Meccano, possibly... And that could be some significant reinforcements at centre-back, which is what we need. Finally, though, we do move slightly further up the pitch to focus more on attack-minded players, focusing here on Mundo Deportivo's cover, which again focuses on Lataro Martinez. Like I say, those negotiations now with Inter are reportedly back underway. They did stop there for a few weeks, but now it's certainly back on the table again. But also on that cover, I want to focus here on Felipe Coutinho, with very reliable journalists there with Mundo Deportivo, and that is certainly a report that I can believe coming out of the media. They say that Ronald Koeman is very much much interested in integrating Coutinho into his plans next season. He believes that Coutinho could bring a lot to his team, a lot to his system, whatever that's going to be, and it's going to be interesting to see how all of this fits. MD go on to say that after the Champions League final is done, Koeman plans to speak directly with Coutinho to basically talk over his future again in a face-to-face -face sort of situation, and it's going to be very, very interesting to see A, does Coutinho feel as though he can come back and really give a lot again in the Barca shirt? Is he ready to do that? And number two, where would he fit? Because we've heard already, like I said yesterday, about De Jong, about Griezmann and Koeman, they're playing them in more suitable positions for them. Can he do the same with Coutinho? Is it possible to find him that role in our team? And for me with Coutinho, I would just love to see us get some sort of return here on that huge investment we've made. Get the best out of him. Get something out of him. Because with the money we've spent, it is certainly worth trying something. And of course, like I say, later on this evening, sadly, Barcelona will not be involved, but Coutinho may well be for Bayern Munich, so that there will be the Champions League final between Paris Saint-Germain and Bayern. And to be fair, even though right now, Barca are out, so I'm kind of like, whatever happens, happens. I don't really mind who wins in this game, to be perfectly honest. I, mean, I think it should be a good game. I think certainly there, with Bayern's high line, you look at Mbappe, you look at Neymar there, getting in behind that defence, it should be a fascinating tactical battle. I wish we were there. I wish we were competing in these kind of games. But if you are still interested there in the final, I will be with you guys there live on the Flick Chat during the game to see everything that's going on. Join me there 
and leave your thoughts in the comments down below from everything we have discussed in today's video. What do you think there about the defenders that have been linked to Barca? And what do you think about the possibility of Coutinho staying under Koeman? Where would he play? Let me know all of those thoughts down below. I will see you soon with plenty more to come. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Oh, <laughs>